Hey, it's Eli Jones with PLCCulture.com. Thank you guys so much for having me. Hi, I hey, want to in your background. I mean, look at this. That is fabulous. <laughs> this is like, I get compliments on it all the time. I always have to give a disclaimer. It's purely like Google Images. It's CGI. It's fake. Completely. I don't care, but I want to live wherever that is. <laughs> so would I. <laughs> well, thank you so much for the compliment. But I know CGI I, too. Do you like mine? You like? That's really good. It's extremely elegant. The, the guitar is super tasteful. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> What's on the wall? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> art. That's my art. That's my, only I can see it. Is that what's going on? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, season two. We're diving into season two of With Love, and I always believe, you know, we got to start mom. We got to start with mom first. So season one ended with a really life-changing event for the whole family that made everyone really open up. Uh, going into season two, what is the dynamic between Jorge and Beatrice, you know, after the recovery? Oh, I think that they get to have fun now. I think that uh, season one was a lot of struggle and a lot of effort and a lot of excavating of resentments and history and airing it out so it can be worked on and looked at. And um, I think season two, they get to reconnect in a fun way. They get to find the joy in their relationship again. They get to find the intimacy and the contact that they haven't had in so long. And reclaiming their sexuality is a part of that situation that happens. And then because you haven't, they haven't done it so long, it's very awkward and new and almost like being teenagers again. And seeing grown people feel that way is just so wonderful because we don't ever have that representation. And then when we actually get good at it and it's sexy, um, you also don't have that representation. So as opposed to first season, the second season was a lot more fun to play and, and we're in our joy more often. And we also look very glamorous in season two. Absolutely. And, you know, one of the things I really enjoyed about With Love is how you guys approach parenting and family dynamics with maturity and a lot of elegance. So being the patriarch of the family, uh, Benito, what lessons has playing the character Jorge Sr. left with you? Um, that's a good question. You know, if I would learn the lesson from the characters that I played, this character, Jorge, teaches me to just be a, a little bit more of a good listener. Mm. Um, a lot of the scenes that I had with Jorge, I, I'm just listening to everybody in the room, um, which is, you know, challenging as an actor because you you, you, you want to jump in. I need a line! But um, you can do so much with a look and just so much as just participating and supporting. Uh, Jorge does a great job of picking up on everything, but doesn't try to fix everything which is this challenge that I have because I hear something, I go, oh, let me go fix it. Let me see if I can put my effort into it and make it better. And you don't necessarily have to do that, you know? Uh, so that's a great lesson that I take from him and it's from the writing. So, uh, so yeah. Absolutely. So I kind of picked everyone's brains on this a little bit later and there's a recurring episode that keeps getting mentioned. So I wanted to get you guys' opinions on this well without giving away any spoilers. Which number uh, episode through the season coming up is your favorite episode? That's not fair. They're all so good. That's a hard one. Not any spoilers. Uh, just pick a number. <laughs> I love the first episode because it's just pure joy. I love the last episode because it's one of culmination. Yeah. I love the second episode because of the things that happen between our relationship. I love the fourth episode because it's us re-establishing home base so there's a lot of different things but i have a favorite moment that i think uh is really more than an episode uh and that's there's a scene between us in the kitchen where where we're cleaning up dishes and and we have a conversation and it's one of the the most loving scenes i've ever seen and happened to be a part of and it's it, it's artistry is in its simplicity and it's just one of those, just like, keep it simple. And, and it was just a joy to make, joy, joy to watch, joy to do. What's your one of your favorites? I would have to pick the final, like, look, all that you said, I'm disgruntled that I even have to do this. And it's all because of Eli. 
But if I have to pick, I would say the last episode because it is the culmination of everything and we're all in it. Um, and it's hilarious in the what happens behind the scenes <laughs> before you get to the end result. And that journey is just magical. And I just remember shooting it and you made me laugh, Benito. And Mark made me cry and Vinny made me cry. And Isis was just gorgeous and just... It, it it was, I don't know, it was just a great um, result and culmination of all that we had done, you know, and it well, sets it up for season two, uh, season three. Yeah. What what happened? Season three? Ready to so do? We just got picked up. Did you not hear? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Eli. Thank you, you <laughs> Absolutely. I, I'm a big fan of that, like speaking it out into the universe. But, you know, season two, I was able to get a little screener, like I said, and you guys did a fantastic job through and through. So with love, season two launches in June. Congratulations on that season. And hopefully we get another one picked up. Thank you guys so Enjoy much Miami. for your time. Enjoy Miami. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. I'll send you a postcard. 